Hello everyone. So for today, I'll be uh, teaching you how to set up your Python server using Tornado. So we have here our uh, GitHub and I will also uh, update this link if you haven't uh, installed your Anaconda. So, uh, so you can do so. Uh, first, you need to install the Anaconda. We already have this one in our system. So, uh, what we will be doing is to install the Tornado and implement our server. So, first, uh, you can run the Anaconda Navigator and search for the package Tornado or just open your um, Anaconda prompt here and then type in the Conda install <clears throat> Tornado. And then click enter. So this will install Tornado in your environment. So this may take some time depending on your uh, internet speed. So just click yes or type Y for it to be installed. So let's just wait for this one to be installed. And since it's already done, we already uh, installed our uh, tornado. So let's download the server.py here and the HTML also. So we may just copy paste this one or download it. So I will just copy paste. So let's uh, create a file, new file, and then let's save this one as our uh, Python file. So I already created a folder here, named server. So I will save here my server, uh, Python server. And then also download the HTML, which uh, we will also call, or we need to call for our uh, Python uh, backend. So new, let's name this index.html. Then open with and just yes, space. So this is our server. So if you want to implement Python Tornado, you need to import tornado.web and tornado.io loop. And then these are our different handler class. So uh, this is our basic request handler, which just this uh if you call this one, it will just display hello world in your uh, browser. Then next, you have a resource request handler. So you can uh, put a query through the URL and then it will just return. So the query variable is ID. So anything you put with the ID, it will just return and the value ID. And then you can also have a query string. So you can uh, call this one. You put the variable n and r or the n itself. And then you can also have a static request handler which can call an HTML file. That's why we need our HTML earlier. And then, of course, our API is set up. So we can create our AI setup here. So in your uh, server, uh, uh, Python server, Tornado, so you need to have this one. So if you want to uh, this uh, handler to be accessed, so you need to put a route. So it is uh, represented by this syntax. So you have the R and then double quotation mark slash and then put here the link that uh, you want to give in your URL. So since this uh, none, so when you call your local host, 
it will uh, automatically return the basic request handler. So this is the class uh, that will be called if you access this uh, URL. So if you call the HTML, it will call the static request handler and so on and so forth. So up that listen will allow you to listen to which port. So you need to indicate which port. So I'm using 8881. And then I'll just print here so that we know that the server is running. So let's uh, do so. So let's go to our uh, folder. So CD server in the C. So DIR, so you can see here our server.py in our HTML. And then to run our server, so just call Python, then server.py. Since uh, it will access through the URL, so you need to allow um, it from your firewall. And then let's run it again. So we encounter some error, line 47. So if you encounter this um, error, the race not implemented error, not implemented error. So what you can do is to apply this one. So I haven't added this one. So there is an update. So just copy this one so that uh, it will be compatible backwards. So import it. Uh, and call it before calling the listen port and tornado.io loop. So then paste it there. So let's rerun this again. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the our Python server is now up. So to check, so we can go to our local host. Colon. And then the port. Yeah. So since this port, uh, going back to our uh, routes here. So as you can see here, uh, we just uh, call the basic handler if you're calling the uh, URL. So slash means uh, just the URL itself. And then you will call the basic handler, which is this one, basic request handler. Then we'll just display hello world in the web page. So if you want to call the HTML we created earlier here. So this is the route for our HTML. So we just put it here, slash HTML. So it will load our HTML page here, which is this one. So, welcome to uh, Python Tornado. So, let's refresh. Uh, so, save. Then, let's run. So, I think we need to restart the server. for it to be uh, reflected. So control C to stop the running of your server. So sometimes, uh, uh, yeah, that's, there you have it. Then let's uh, run it again. Then let's refresh. And there you go. So nag-update na siya. Next we call is even. So to call is event, I also put it here. So you need to put some value for n. So is uh, event and then where n is equals to 4. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it will call the query string request handler, which is uh, this one. And it will... Uh, receive the n and then parse it to integer and then check if it is uh, even or uh, not. So let's try 5. 
So, five is add. So, next we have the resource. So, for the resource, you just call the resource and then any number. So, let's change the URL to resource. Slash zero, for example. So, you will receive zero to nine here, any number here. So, for example, nine zero nine. And there you have it. So, it will call the resource handler. The resource handler uh, will just resource request handler. So, the resource request handler will just receive the resource in the form of integer and then it will just be displayed there. Then, next, uh, you have the API. So, slash API will return you the JSON which is created here. And your front end will uh, can retrieve this one. So if your front end need to pass some value, so you can use the resource or the uh, basic request. Uh, the resource can query string and request handler, so you may do so. And if just a display, so you can just call the JSON uh, uh, method here or our class so it will just give you uh, uh, JSON output so there you have it uh, I hope uh, this video helped you on setting up your Python tornado as your backend server